In 2002, Blue Sky Studios released a movie called The Ice Age. It made almost $400 million in the box office and started what was an oversaturation of characters that we used to love for more money. And it made some money. Enough for the company to get bought and then shut down by Disney. But the Ice Age franchise's beginning was something special, something that I will remember for years to come, but it wasn't until recently that I really thought hard about this movie and its story and I came to realize something. Within this movie that I could quote for hours, and within all of these characters that I love, yes, each and every single one of them, they're all afraid. Almost every major character in this movie is scared of something, and it isn't something simple like spiders or snakes or that weird shadow man that watches me while I sleep. No, they're afraid of something more, something that deep down probably scares you too. Let's get into it. The very first time we really get clued in on this is with Sid the Sloth, the absolute meme legend. At his very first appearance, we are immediately introduced to the idea that Sid's family has left him because he is annoying as all heck. Everyone around him either just wants to leave him or kill him. He tries to make friends, but it seems like all he makes are enemies. He is afraid that no one will love him because of who he is. He wants so desperately to make friends with those around him, but he has been incredibly unsuccessful. Sid copes with this by keeping himself positive and never giving up. He makes jokes, sometimes just to himself, to try to keep himself happy. He looks for those around him who seem like they would be good friends and willingly follows them to the ends of the earth. Now, we never get an emotional scene where Sid expresses how his family leaving him has affected him. In fact, we never really get an emotional scene that really involves Sid as the focus. He's always kind of off to the side, and you know what? Sometimes it is like that. Sometimes those that are afraid don't get an opportunity to really show the people that they care about the way that they really feel. And I think with Sid, he feels that his friend's emotional turmoil is greater than his. He doesn't want to bring up what has been festering within himself because his focus isn't on that. His focus is on those around him and caring about their needs. Sid's fear of being alone is coped with him not giving up and keeping himself positive so that one day his patience will pay off and he will finally have a friend, a real friend, that would be willing to sacrifice themselves to save Sid. Next up we have Diego, whose biggest fear is a little bit more realized to the audience. Diego has always had a pack around him, he's always had a group that he could rely on. Sure, some members of the group can be pretty toxic, and I wouldn't suggest getting into it, but it is more than what Sid has. As the story goes on, Diego comes to realize that Manny and Sid both really care about him. Manny almost dies trying to save Diego from an inevitable death, which isn't like anything his other group has done for him. Diego then has to make a choice. Does he want to stay with his new friends who genuinely care about him, or does he want to stay with his old pack who has most likely been with him through his entire life? This decision scares Diego, and while third-party members would most likely call this choice an easy one, in the moment it feels like one of the greatest sacrifices you are making. This is your pack, your group, the one that you have grown up with all your life. Betraying them would be relative to betraying family. And yet, you know that this new group, this other clan of individuals, is far superior to the one you have now. They actually care about you, while the first group isn't interested in who you are, rather what you can do to benefit the group as a whole. The new group is selfless, while the original is entirely selfish. But Diego makes that decision and chooses with his own fruition what group he wants to be a part of. He's scared to make that choice, but when he does, he ends up being a much happier person in the end. Diego is scared that he has to choose between his pack that he grew up with and his friends that really care about him. And he copes with this by thinking long and hard about what he needs to do and then acts on it. Manny the Mammoth is by far the most interesting character in the entire movie. We don't know everything about him and yet we know everything we need to know about this protective, lovable hunk of fur. Honestly, going from watching the first movie to then watching Collision Course was so jarring for me. Manny seemed like an entirely different character in that movie, and maybe there was something that I missed from the other three movies in the middle, but these two are not the same and it shows. Manny, in the good Ice Age movie, seems very cold. He does things his own way and doesn't care at all about what other people think about him. He seems like he's going to be that sort of edgy, leave-me-alone kind of character, but as the story moves on, 
we get more and more into why Manny is the way that he is and that he is so much deeper than just a simple cold shoulder. When Sid could very well die trying to give the baby back, he watches, making the excuse that he wants to see how horribly wrong it goes when, in actuality, he wants to make sure that Sid and the baby are okay. He constantly protects those around him while simultaneously coming off as if he doesn't actually care that much. And when we figure it out, we know exactly why Manny is the way that he is. This scene in the cave where Manny relives his memory of his wife and child being killed by humans is when the movie, for me personally, goes from good to great. This scene, with no words, expresses exactly who Manny is. In truth, Manny's terrified. He lost his family and he doesn't want to lose anyone else close to him. He pulls himself away from those around him because he doesn't want to see them get hurt. He protects others because that's all he knows. As a father, his job was to protect his family. Now as a friend, he feels that responsibility to protect them. He is scared of failing and losing those close to him. Manny wants to be a light in other people's lives, but he is afraid of losing them if he isn't enough. But the truth that we see later on is that through those around him that really care about him, he is enough. He can protect and care about those around him with the help of those same people that he is protecting. With the support of others, he is more than enough. Ice Age is a great movie, but recently it became something a little bit more to me. Ice Age is a story that delves into the fears that are in the back of everyone's mind. The fear of being alone, the fear of losing the ones close to you, and the fear that you will see your loved ones get hurt. And the way that each of these characters approach them is very reminiscent about how real people deal with some of these real fears. By trying your absolute best to stay positive and connected with others, making those hard decisions, or pulling away, too afraid to be attached to others only for them to get hurt because you weren't good enough. Ice Age shows us that we can pull through each of these, and that by connecting with others and supporting one another, there is nothing we can't overcome together. Thank you all for watching. If you really enjoyed, be sure to subscribe for more. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and as always, until next time.